All right, let's discuss this now with uh, Pakyasoti Saravanamuto, who's in London. He's the founder and executive director at the Centre for Policy Alternatives in Sri Lanka. Welcome to the news hour. So there are less than 24 hours to go before Sri Lanka picks its next uh, president. Um, we're down to three uh, people. Who do you think could win this? Well, it would seem like Dallas Alaha Peruma has the advantage because he will have the split votes of these SLPP. And with Sajid Premadas withdrawing and throwing the SJB's support behind Dallas, he may well be able to have the numbers. I think the idea that Sajid Premadas was sort of pursuing is, is to exclude, to isolate Ranil Vikramasinghe. And he may have succeeded in doing that because if the SJB comes with the rest of the opposition parties, then he can take that slice of the SLPP that is not going to vote for Ranil Vikramasinghe. Now, will a change of leadership uh, change what's happening in Sri Lanka? How will it impact the, the protests, uh, the terrible situation right now with the economy? Well, if Ranil Vikramasinghe was to be elected president tomorrow, there was always a possibility that the protests could intensify, the struggle could intensify. They see, they look upon Ranil Vikramasinghe as a protector of the Rajapaksas. So in this respect, if Dallas is re-elected president, there might be a respite, there might be a degree of political stability that can be injected into the system. Okay. Either way, it may be Ranil or Dallas, it's a tough task to mm -hmm. surmount in terms of the economic situation. So either Ranil or Dallas, that is going to be a challenge. And just on this point, why is Ranil Wickramasinghe still running for president? Uh, the protesters burnt his personal home down. They've even been chanting, uh, Ranil, go home. So why is he still there? And why does he think he has a chance? Well, ostensibly, his argument is, is that he came more step forward to save the economy mm -hmm. and that that was key. So he wants to continue the work that he started when he took over the prime ministership way back in May. And what does the IMF want to see? What would be a, the best leader now uh, for these talks that are ongoing with the IMF? Well, the IMF would want to see that there is political stability so that the conversations with the government of Sri Lanka can continue and we can move to the staff agreement and then eventually to the structural adjustment program. Uh, as I said before, if Dallas Alaha Peruma becomes the president, then there is the possibility that the protests will subside, at least for the short term. The short term. And on that very point of the short term, fuel is in such short supply. Could a change of, of leadership um, quickly change the reality on the ground with regards to about fuel? It. I'm not so sure about it doing it quickly. I mean, they might be able to reap some of the benefits of whatever Ranil Vikramasinghe's government has done in the last couple of weeks. But there is an expectation that it might, uh, that the queues, et cetera, might be got rid of slowly in the coming weeks. That would be very useful and, and very good for people. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Uh, Pakya Soti Saravanamoto speaking to us from London. Really appreciate your time and analysis. I'm actually in Sri Lanka. Thank you.